She's one of the best in the women's game now and historically, Valentina Shevchenko. She's already got a UFC Flyweight Championship to her credit, and she will look to bolster her legacy yet again here tonight. Not only is she one of the best, she's one of the nastiest. Who has a gun tattoo on the side of their gym? And she goes out there and she's got that thing loaded. That gun to me symbolizes the right hand and the right kick of Valentina Shevchenko. She's the first. She's a great counter striker. She sets traps beautifully. And if you overextend or you attack too quickly, she will finish you on the feet. And she can also finish you on the ground. Just a phenomenal mixed martial artist is Valentina Shevchenko. And if she gets a first round knockout tonight, DC has agreed to get that gun tattooed on his message. It won't show. It won't show on the <laughs> for this one. Ready. Done. All right, here we go. Capacity crowd on hand to witness. Oh! Right hand over the top. Great defense. She blocked that punch. All right, the lioness Amanda Nunez able to land the overhand right early in this one. She's never in a rush per se, but don't want to eat too many of those. Power defines the female goal. Power is her calling card. Amanda Nunez gets forward, and she starts to part a jab to land that beautiful overhand right that she has put so many to sleep with. Kicks. Nunez going for the takedown, but unable to win. She got that leg kick off quick. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, nice job by the kickboxer there to stay upright. That takedown attempt would have put her on the floor earlier in her mixed martial arts career. She's working hard. Yeah, she's working very hard at getting better, but you can see the awareness now. Her understanding of how to move defensively whenever she gets hit with a takedown attempt. Beautiful to see her evolution inside the octagon. Sidekick. Right, so 
Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. How good a job does she do defensively to protect that head, raise the guard, a lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for defensive boxing. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. She cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. His work. The kick is there to the body. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunes. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive shots. Nice job paying attention to the defensive side. Nunes gets caught by that straight hand. Oh, bad. Another huge right. Oh, massive left for Nunes now. Her hands look crispy tonight. Under two minutes to go. Oh. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Big elbow there, Lance. Oh! Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick. No good. What a phenomenal fight. These two are so evenly matched. They're going back and forth. Big shot to the head. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Takedown defense holds up. Effective use of the jab there by Nunez. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Under a minute to go in the round. Shevchenko's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. She lands a nice leg kick here. All right, well, a lot of credit to Roger Crawl and the entire team, but it seems as though Amanda Nunes has taken her striking to the next level here tonight, dominating on the field. That's such a scary thought to think that Amanda Nunes is still getting better. For the division, she has been dominant for so long. And when you look at her tonight, that act, her striking accuracy is as good as we've ever seen it. She looks amazing. She seems confident. She seems sure. This will be a very hard woman to beat. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Now standing back and forth first round. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and you talk about power, chins, heart, toughness. Just a great showcase for mixed martial arts in those five minutes. Everything on full display in five minutes. It was unbelievable to watch these two young women truly lay it all out on the line. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom, there goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually she will find that moment. All right, here we go with round two. Big right hand for Valentina Shevchenko lands her. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so some adversity for her here. It looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having will not be easy. But she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on. Great commitment to the kicking game. Oh, no! Nunes gets caught with that punch. Nice. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being 
much, Dom, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight can potentially win. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She's going to have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. Oh, another beautiful kick to the thigh. She has attacked that area to great effect here tonight. She said that was in the game plan. Let's work every part of the body. Right now, the target is the thigh, and she is attacking it effectively. Oh, it. oh so the overhand right lands again for the Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, she gets out. She did a very good job of staying on oh, and a very tight guillotine attempt. What a beautiful job by this young lady. Under three minutes here to go in the round. All right, she's got her in a crucifix now. I would think a lot of options at her disposal offensively. Yeah, she's got all the options. All she needs to do is be patient. Drop elbows, drop big punches. Just really start to lay into your opponent, but do it in a way that you don't lose all the work that you put in to gaining such a dominant position. And right into side control. Oh, look at this. She's got her in the crucifix. A lot of body weight with which to contend. We'll see how she tries to get up here. It's a very tough situation for the bottom girl. Before the top fighter, all she has to do is just maintain and keep control. Keep it safe. Don't allow it to turn chaotic, because when it turns chaotic, you lose one of the arms. You gotta keep both of the arms, punch, 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 elbow, 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 and end the fight. Nunez's left calf starting to show signs of bruising, courtesy of those leg kicks. Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here as she blocks another set of shots there. She said it was gonna be a focus, get better defensively, and tonight she's showing that the work has been done. Went for the inside leg kick. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike now. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so... Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Nice left team. She's got one of the best arm bars in the business, going for it now. Oh, she's got that submission locked in tight. No, I thought she might succumb. She gets out. I thought she was going to sleep. I thought it was over. Well, submission position. offense is somewhat of a lost start in modern day MMA, but she knows what she's doing, and yet the defensive fighter continues to thwart her. Especially off your back. She's so good off of her back that she's given herself a chance to get these submissions. But her, her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in the play. Right right she lands, right and she lands very effectively. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, how about that? She gives up on the submission now. Big ground and pound. Final seconds here of round two. Oh. Ten minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now, and... Nunez's eye has looked a whole lot better, DC. We'll see what the cut man can do to sort of stem the tide with the swelling. But if he's not able to get it to come down, that eye could swell shut. Well, I'm not sure if the swelling is just cosmetic. She might be severely injured. Let's look back at some replays from that round. Well, when you take shots that clean, you run the risk of being injured and injured badly. She was not good defensively. And ultimately, she's the one that's paying for it. She has got to change something if she wants to stay in this fight. Third round underway. Nice punch to the head. She's 
starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Shevchenko's really limping heavily now. The leg kicks have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. Oh, spinning back fist for her out of nowhere. Man, her kick to the body there was a beaut. And she misses with the left punch. Oh, maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Beautiful level change. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. All right, so Nunez is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. What a submission attempt by this grappler. Ooh, she's got the submission locked in. Yeah, it's getting very deep now. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. Really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 36 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, Valentina Bullock Shevchenko. Well, man, is Valentina Bullock Shevchenko fun to watch when she is on as she was here tonight. This is a fighter who has been mixing the martial arts for a long time now, way before it was in vogue. And of course, the results speak for themselves. Congratulations to Valentina Shevchenko. Oh, qué mucha mami. Está en el club.